So I'm here at what remains of Occupy Portland. Looks like we're getting shut down. Um, the police said they're going to evict us tonight at midnight. So we're organizing a big rally tonight and uh, we're going to let the cops know that uh, the First Amendment has no expiration date. So um, we're going to be staying tonight uh, you know, in order to resist non-violently of course. And, um, yeah, if I, if I get arrested, if I get beaten, then so be it. But there's some things worth standing for in life, and this is it. So, um, from the looks of things, uh, it looks like they, we probably won't be winning this fight. People are already uh, taking down tents and everything, but we'll be back. We'll, we'll find another occupation site if need be, but it's, this isn't over. So, I'll hopefully be able to get some footage of tonight when the cops are here to, to shut us down. Uh, so, we'll see you then. Are away from the smoke without the painful side effects. If you want one, you must look me in the eye and promise me, your fellow campers, that you will not use violence with the police tonight. I you inside my poster. Physically fighting is against everything that Occupy Wall Street. Peace! Tents are coming down, as you can see. And, uh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, there are, the boys in, there are the boys in blue right there. We'll be seeing more of them tonight. Damn, looks like, looks like this area is mostly cleared by now. Sounds like they're having the uh, General Assembly over there. I might head over there. It's like some media over here. I guess there's like national media attention around here. But, uh, they said three days warning was they wanted to separate the good protesters from the bad protesters. You know what? It didn't work. Everybody's here standing in support. 
No one has pulled away from their support. And right now, there's, it looked to me like a couple hundred people at Terry Trunk Plaza for this concert. I believe hundreds, if not thousands more people are going to be down here by 11 or midnight tonight. Right. To stand in solidarity with those risking arrest to, to hold these parks and yeah. stand up for their goals and what. It's, it's not called uh, permitted, uh, polite protest for minor reforms of Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Occupy Wall Street. Right. Right. Occupy Portland, and that's what this is all about. I don't, I, you know, we all should acknowledge that there have been problems. There's been safety and, and, and health issues, and uh, we should address those. But the way to the way to do it is not by just having the cops come through here, sweep this place, throw people in jail. It's by looking at the problems, not just the problems, yeah, here, but the root of the problems. All right. Uh, it's Wall Street. It's not homelessness isn't the problem. Drug addiction is the problem. I personally think it's capitalism is the problem. In this economic system, there's a lot of people who don't get what they need and there are problems. Usually those problems are happening in the back alleys in Old Town. They're not usually happening right here in St. Adam's front yard. Right. I think that's part of the problem. They don't want it in their front yard. They want it back in the alleys of Old Town. That's bullshit. Yeah. You know there's not those watching, Sam Adams is the mayor of Portland who ordered this uh, evacuation. Um, the good encampment over on Burnside, they're saying that's bullshit. We're not the good encampment, and that's not the bad encampment. These problems are, are real, and uh, they're, they're, you know, folks are trying to address them, and, and they stand in full solidarity with Occupy Portland and Occupy Wall Street. Our part! Who's part? Our part! Who's part? Our part! Who's part? Our part! Who's part? Our part! are going to be evicting us. Um, so I'm, I've been kind of debating and building up the courage over whether I want to uh, you know, just videotape it or um, re or just uh, stay and resist and, and, uh, and risk arrest. And um, I've, I've been working up the courage and I think I'm, I'm going to stay and and, uh, and face the very real possibility of spending the night in jail. So, uh, if that's the case, then 
you'll you'll see us uploaded as soon as I get out, and uh, probably may have some comments about that. So, uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. I know that often they won't even charge people. They will just, you know, and if it is, it's a misdemeanor. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fight the good fight because it's the right thing to do. So, I'll be back to you uh, over around 12 and we'll see what goes down. Uh, there's definitely more people here than they can fill the jails with. There's only, they only have room in the jail for about 95 people and there's, you know, hundreds if not, maybe not a thousand people here, but the possible that much, but many hundreds of people here. and. Uh, so hopefully we can overwhelm them. So and keep fighting the good fight, and uh, and uh, we'll be back. Uh, I, I know that. I know it's the case. The whole world is watching, and justice will be done. So I don't know if you can see this, but there are thousands and thousands of people here, including supporters across the street who aren't going to risk arrest. But frankly, they can't arrest us all. They're, they're going to try and give out tickets to some people, but they can't even do that to us all. We're too big to jail. So, this, this is just fucking crazy. You cannot imagine the energy here. We got people watching from occupations all over the world. We've all come together for this. Goodbye. The whole yeah, world is good. watching. in the middle of a street right now. We've taken a street, there's a bicycle brigade going by. We're, we've already won as far as I'm concerned. This is an amazing show of solidarity and I love each and every one of these people. This is so awesome. It's gonna get more difficult with staying the night with the park supposed to open up at five o'clock after which the police can't do anything to us so we gotta hold the space till five hopefully we can do that so here's an update uh, as you can tell, my voice is a little hoarse, so bear with me. Uh, so it's about 10 minutes after 3 right now. Um, and we have claimed the streets. Uh, the, um, the police came in their riot gear on horseback and we, fin and we uh, pushed them back. They, tr they tried to take different streets, pushed them back. I have never seen people power like this, and it has reaffirmed my faith in humanity like nothing else. So, we are living in revolutionary times, and this is what a people's revolution looks like. about 5 o'clock now, and uh, that means that the park is officially open, and therefore they can't kick us out. So, I'm calling it now. We won. We fucking won. This is what democracy looks like. <laughs> 